pure and crafty 2019. By far exceeded my expectations. This is kind of like some astronaut shit. When's the production bike coming? You can tell me, you got a big fancy title. How important is it? Having a little fashion and function. I still like sit back in my chair and I'm like, why did BMW Motorrad, one of the biggest companies in the world, you know, producing motorcycles, come to me? A guy from Long Beach who owns a clothing store. It's really cool to see such positive feedback coming from you guys watching and the comments. So it's just like, I'm watching, I'm reading, I'm responding. It's not scripted, it's off the hip. And we're having a really good time just getting to know more about the history of BMW Motorrad and what their sights are for the future. Guys, we're in Amsterdam. BMW Motorrad has invited us out to be part of an event called the Pure and Crafted event. Maybe we can find out a little bit more about that R18 concept, or maybe even some more details about the production bike. So, let's go. What is the Pure and Crafted show, you're probably asking. So this is a really cool show of kind of melding the lifestyle and the culture behind kind of the moto community and the actual moto community, the builders, the productions, the manufacturers, everybody's here under one roof to just kind of have a really good time. And I'm really excited to show you. So let's go take a look. Wow, the R1250, I've seen this one before. Ooh, the Spitfire, I've definitely seen this one before. Pure and Crafted show, we've just walked out of one hall, we're in another hall, there's probably four or five, maybe even six different buildings kind of part of this whole showcase. Looks like they get a little rowdy in the parking lot. Check this out. Wall of death. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go take a look. This is pretty crazy. How many guys ride at one time? Three. Three? Three? Wow. And how fast do you have to be going? The slowest is about 28 miles an hour. Really? Before you start like an hour, you're So this is like, this is kind of like some astronaut shit, basically. Yeah. You guys, you guys gonna ride today at all? Uh, you guys ready for this? Let's check this out. That's incredible. Okay guys, today is the day that they're gonna be announcing the official launch of the, the Heritage Collection. We're obviously here to talk about motorcycles, but I think we're here to talk about one motorcycle specifically, the production bike of the Concept R18. Let's go talk to Ralph and see if we can get any more information out of him. Good morning, Ralph. Hi, Tommy. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. My name is Ralf Rodepeter. Yeah. Uh, I'm responsible for marketing and for product management of BMW Motorrad. So you're kind of the, the tastemaker of what you know these guys watching are going to see maybe next year or two years and five years. But it's pretty interesting. I mean, usually a lot of companies do hard goods and soft goods differently or separately. You do both of them together, right? Yeah, yeah, of course not me, my team, yeah. Um, but yeah, and that is that gives a lot of opportunities to really build yeah. the position and the image of BMW Motorrad. When you see a bike, a yeah. motorcycle, you always or mostly see it with a rider. Sure. So the sure. picture of a bike is yeah. always, of course, influenced by the rider. So, the rider, right. 
we want to have one picture of that. So we said, hey, if we want to create a whole image with a bike and the rider, of course, we have to take some elements also out of our history. And what comes very easy to your mind is this copper color on your, yeah. on your jacket that is directly from our old logo. Mm -hmm. So we said, hey, this black and white, and yes, a leather jacket, of course, is always black. Right, yeah. um, but let us take these elements out of copper, especially, and you find that in your zipper and everywhere. Cool, so let's pick out some of your favorite things, right? I would like to show you these gloves, which I love very much. Yeah. So these black gloves, cool looking, yeah. good, suitable to your, to your jacket. and it's Super clean. Super clean, but very much heritage also in that, very without so, yeah. losing anything of the of the functionality of the yeah. of the gloves. We are coming from Germany, and not only Germany, we are really coming yeah. from Berlin with kind the of standard with for the, the bikes, roots, right? There is yeah. our plan since a lot of years. So having this T-shirt with a Berlin build, I love very much. From the beginning, as we said, we said, hey, that has to be yes. a male and a female yeah. collection. And it's still all the same stuff. It's not kind of like the watered down version of what you see in the guys line. Like no. everything is on the same par and same protective as you know, on both sides, both for men. Absolutely. And women. We listen very carefully to customizers, to our customers, of course, and feel what they are looking for. And sure. some of them are really huge fans of BMW Motorrad. Yes, I am, of course. Right. And they want something around it, but that they don't want to look like merchandising. The clothing that you're wearing is just as almost identifiable as the customizations that you make to the bike. Absolutely. And so it's like you have those little pieces and you can kind of choose that look that you want for the day. But and it's like, I feel good in this. Like I, you know, I don't feel like I'm wearing a suit, but I have that confidence when I get on the bike that it's like, God forbid. And nobody is seeing the armors. Yeah. There are armors in, huh? Yeah. So, and it's not seen from the outside. Yeah, and if things ever go. look like a coming out of a video game. Yeah, out of a said. video yeah. game, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? How important is it having a little fashion and function? They've dug deep. They've, they've looked for the passion. They've looked for the soul. They've looked for the feel. That's what the Heritage Collection is. It's those pieces that you can rely on on a daily basis and use on and off the motorcycle. Okay guys, so behind me, they're just kicking off the press conference to officially launch the Heritage Collection line. Uh, we already kind of know all this information, so why don't we take the time now, kind of walk around and see what else we can get into. Let's go take a look. Sir. Good. Good. Tommy, Hello. pleasure. Good. Good. You must be Emily. Hi. <laughs> Ralph. How are you doing? Good. Hi, excuse. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. It was a BMW. It's yeah. Still the boxer engine hidden here under the aluminium. Yeah. Um, but it looks like an airplane now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm doing quarter mile races with this bike. Ah, so it's just straight and fast. Definitely, it's <laughs> so fast. I have the front like the speedometer on yeah. around um, four to five thousand. Yeah, RPMs. The the front is on hold. Yeah. I push the rear brake. This the foot is this foot is the only foot that's still on the ground. Yeah. Then we don't have a traffic like we have a flat girl and you need to walk the flat girl carefully. That is why I have my checklist here, you know. Yeah, 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 Throttle yeah. level, right position, exhaust fire switch, flight direction, then flat girl. And then if the flag goes down, you're allowed to Open the clutch immediately, put the foot up, and then just. The rest is history. The gears Damn. And race as fast as you can. That's crazy. So, why is it called the Spitfire, though? Because it spits fire. So, it's very liberal. I'm a builder from the Netherlands and uh, we do a lot of BMWs. For me, it's uh, also really cool to be here because yeah. you can uh, yeah, you can meet like-minded people. Yeah. Like-minded petroheads, also fashion, yeah. uh, from tattoos to lifestyle. It's, totally. it's all here. So. I think it's really cool to see kind of this new direction. I like a tendance. It's always, uh, it started with really with cafe racers. Yeah. Yeah. Then it was more like like uh, the maybe scrambler bobber kind of thing. Yeah. Now flat track is all back. Yeah, definitely. Um, so maybe the next step will be cruisers. Cruisers, yeah. Hey, maybe we'll put in a good word for you and we can yeah. get you a production bike or something. Get me one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can. Okay. Thank you so much for chatting with Thank me. Thank you, man. Yeah. It was an honor to meet you. So yeah. uh, finally we met up. So. Yeah, it was cool to finally meet you in person, yeah. not just through Instagram. Yeah, true, man. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
love it. Perfect. Very cool. I told my mom I'd bring her back a souvenir, so... <laughs> that is where the ideas come from, huh? Yeah. That is where the re really the avant-garde is in this customizer scene. They are influencing what's come up, what yeah. will be in fashion and bikes within the next years. Yeah, and I mean, everything's kind of cyclical, too. So it's like you're kind of watching them, they're watching you, but everyone's yeah. kind of inspiring each other in, yeah. in, in totally different ways, you know? Okay, so we've talked about fashion, we've talked about music, we've talked about lifestyle, but... We really want to be talking about motorcycles. Sure, the question that everybody is asking still, I mean, we're at episode two now. You guys are just teasing us, baiting us. When's the production bike coming? You can tell me, you got a big fancy title. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is also the reason why I can't tell you more than we ah. already told. Uh, so yeah. it will be on the market in the second half of 2020. That's such, that's um, such, so a, that's that such a political we'll, answer. Yeah. I know, <laughs> <laughs> but you will not get more details out of but me. But there's, there's gotta be something else that you can give me, right? Something, anything, a little morsel? Yes, because I know a detail that you like very much with the concept R18. Sure, sure. I mean, I, mean, I love that whole bike. But you told me yesterday evening that there is a detail that you like very much, and I can tell you that this detail will be also in the serial bike. Well, what is it? We've seen uh, the whole culture here at the Pier and Crafted show. We've went from music, we've gone to fashion, We've gone to motorcycles, which we're surrounded by, and just the overall culture here. And it's really cool to kind of see this culmination of people here at the Pure and Crafted show. But I think it's time to party now, and the music's still going. So let's go listen to some bands. Let's go. We're gonna be heading to the airport. Next stop is the Barber Inn. That's gonna be in Alabama, so we're going back to the States. Episode two is pretty much in the can, but if you guys wanna get updates of when the next episode is gonna be available, sign up for the newsletter and you'll actually get notifications uh, and be able to watch the videos before anybody else. So sign up, check it out, let us know your thoughts. This is Tommy, signing off.